Meerut pronunciation, IAST, Maratha, is a city in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. It is an ancient city with settlements dating back to the Indus Valley Civilization having been found in and around the area. The city lies 70 kilometers 43 miles northeast of the national capital New Delhi and 453 kilometers 281 miles northwest of the state capital Lucknow. As of 2011, Meerut is the 33rd most populous urban agglomeration and the 26th most populous city in India. It ranked 292 in 2006 and is projected to rank 242 in 2020 in the list of largest cities and urban areas in the world. The municipal area as of 2001 is 141.89 square kilometers, 54.78 square miles, with the cantonment covering 35.68 square kilometers, 3568.06 hectares. The city is one of the largest producers of sports goods and the largest producer of musical instruments in India. The city is also an education hub in western Uttar Pradesh and also known as the Sports City of India. The city is famous for being the starting point of the 1857 rebellion against British colonial rule. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Origin of the word. The city may have derived its name from Mayarashtra (Sanskrit), Mayarashtra, the capital of the kingdom of Mayasura, Mandodari's father and Ravana's father-in-law. This name may have mutated to Myrashtra, My Dant Ka Kara, Meroth, and eventually Meerut. According to another version, Maya, Sura, being a distinguished architect, received from King Yudhishthira the land on which the city of Meerut now stands, and he called this place Mayarashtra, a name which in the course of time became shortened to Meerut. Tradition also has it that the city formed a part of the dominions of Mahipala, the king of Indra Prastha, and the word Meerut is associated with his name. History <inaudible> Ancient era After the archaeological excavations at Vidura Ka Tila, a collection of several mounds named after Vidura, in 1950–52, a site 37 kilometres northeast of Meerut, it was concluded to be remains of the ancient city of Hastinapur, the capital of Kauravas and Pandavas of Mahabharata, which was washed away by Ganges floods. Meerut also contained a Harappan settlement known as Alamgirpur. It was also the easternmost settlement of the Indus Valley Civilization. Meerut had been a center of Buddhism in the period of Mauryan Emperor Ashoka r. 273 BC to 232 BC, and remains of Buddhist structures were found near the Jama Masjid in the present-day city. The Ashoka Pillar, at Delhi Ridge, next to the Bara Hindu Rao Hospital, near Delhi University, was carried to Delhi from Meerut, by Firuz Shah Tuluk r. 1351-1388, it was later damaged in a 1713 explosion, and restored in 1867. Topic: Muslim conquests and rule. In the 11th century AD, the region to the southwest of the city was ruled by Har Dat, the Dor Rajput Raja of Bulanshar, who built a fort, which was long known for its strength and finds mention in Ain I Akbari. He was later defeated by Mahmud of Ghazni in 1018, surrendering along with his forces to Mahmud. The prominent local landmark known as the Jama Masjid, dates from this period and is said to have been built by Mahmud's vizier. Shortly after its capture the city was regained by the local Hindu Raja and part of his fortifications, built for the city's defense, survived until recent times. Muhammad of Ghor's Mamluk general Qutbud din Ibak who went on to establish the Delhi Sultanate in 1206, attacked and captured Meerut in 1193, after capturing and sacking Delhi where thousands of inhabitants were killed after a general massacre was ordered after a civilian uprising, Timur in 1399 attacked and sacked Meerut. It was held by Ilyas Afghan and his son Mala Muhammad Thaniswari who were assisted by non-Muslims led by Safi. Timur tried to negotiate a surrender, to which the inhabitants of the fort replied by stating that Tarmashiran had tried to capture it in the past but failed. Incensed, he set forth with 10,000 cavalry. The forces scaled the walls and Safi was killed in the battle. The inhabitants were killed and their wives and children enslaved. 
The fortifications and houses were razed to the ground with prisoners ordered to be flayed alive. The city then came under the rule of the Mughal Empire and saw a period of relative tranquility. During the rule of Mughal Emperor, Akbar the Great r. 1556-1605, there was a mint for copper coins here. During the decline of the Mughal Empire, after the death of Aurangzeb, the city came effectively under the control of local chieftains, the Sayyids of Muzaffarnagar in the north, the Jats in the southeast, and the Gujars along the Ganges and in the southwest. The city saw Sikh and Maratha invasions in the 18th century, with interruptions by Jats and Rohilas. Walter Reinhardt, an English soldier, established himself at Sardana and some parts of the district came under his rule. Upon his death, they came into the hands of Begum Samru. During this time, the southern part of the district had remained under Maratha rule. Colonial era In 1803, with the fall of Delhi, Daulat Rao Sindhya of the Marathas ceded the territory to the British. The city was made headquarters of the eponymous district in 1818. Meerut is famously associated with the Indian Rebellion of 1857 against the British East India Company. The famous slogan, Dili Kalo, Let's March to Delhi, was first raised here. Meerut Cantonment is the place where the rebellion started when Hindu and Muslim soldiers were given rifle cartridges rumoured to have a coating made of animal fat. The revolt, which catapulted Meerut into international prominence, started in March 1857 at Barakpur, Bengal. Sepoy Mongol Pandi shot and missed two Europeans, failed to kill himself, and was hanged. By April, the fire of Pandi's uprising scorched North India and reached Meerut, the second largest East India Company garrison. Here, Europeans and native sepoys were evenly balanced, with a little more than 2,000 on each side. The European cantonment was separated from the native lines, close by were Sadar Bazaar and Lal Kurdi Bazaar, the latter named after the red uniforms worn by company soldiers. On 24 April 1857, Meerut's commander, Colonel Carmichael Smith, paraded 90 Indian sepoys of the Bengal cavalry, hired mostly from Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. He ordered them to fire the new Enfield cartridges, 85 refused. The cartridges were covered with paper that had to be torn off. Muslims believed the paper was greased with pig fat and Hindus, with cow fat. All 85 were stripped of their uniforms, imprisoned for 10 years and shackled. This was a major humiliation. The rebels were from the 3rd Cavalry, they owned their horses, and were the upper caste elite. If they could be shackled, what could others expect from the company? On Sunday 10 May 1857, Kotwal Don Singh Gurur opened the gates of the prison. These soldiers, along with the other imprisoned soldiers, escaped prison and declared themselves free, revolted, attacked and killed several of the British authorities to take the city under their control. This marked the beginning of a widespread revolt across northern India as these soldiers marched towards Delhi. The 10th of May is still celebrated as a local holiday in Meerut. Meerut was also the venue of the controversial Meerut conspiracy case in March 1929, in which several trade unionists, including three Englishmen, were arrested for organizing Indian rail strike. This immediately caught attention back in England, inspired the 1932 play titled Meerut Prisoners, by Manchester Street Theatre Group, The Red Megaphones, highlighting the detrimental effects of colonisation and industrialisation electricity was brought to Meerut in 1931. In the 1940s, Meerut cinemas had a ''Don't Move'' policy during playing of the British National Anthem. The last session of the Indian National Congress before Indian independence was held at Victoria Park in Meerut on 26 November 1946. It was in this session that the Constitution-Making Committee was constituted. <laughs> Post-independence era The city and district also suffered from communal Hindu Sikh riots in 1984 and Hindu Muslim riots in 1982 and in 1987, during which the Hashimpura massacre took place. In May 1987, when personnel of the Provincial Armed Constabulary PAC allegedly shot dead 42 Muslims, the trial of the case is still pending. In 2006, a fire at a consumer electronics brand India. Fair in Victoria Park Stadium killed at least 100 people, with authorities already confirming 45 fatalities, although a specific figure on a toll was difficult to put and was predicted to be much higher.
Topic: The Great Upsurge of 1857. The British formally touched base in Meerut in 1803, through an arrangement with the Marathas. The cantonment of Meerut was set up in 1806 with particular key interests including its closeness to Delhi and its area inside the rich Ganges, Yamuna Dobe. With time Meerut advanced into one of the biggest and most vital military stations of India. Mythology <inaudible> 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 Meerut was founded as Mayarashtra lit. Maya's country by Maya, who was the father of Mandodari, Ravana's wife in the Ramayana. Meerut was the capital of Maya. Thus the city is also known as Ravan Ka Sasoral, literally meaning Ravana's wife's home. There is an old Khandi Devi temple in the compound of Nashandi ground. It is believed that Ravan's wife Mandodari used to come here to worship goddess Khandi. Every year, after the festival of Holi, a fair is conducted at the Nashandi grounds. There is a temple, known as Khandi Devi Temple, and a mosque near Balmian's mausoleum facing each other. Hence, this fair represents the unity between the Hindus and the Muslims. It is said that, this is where King Dasharatha had accidentally shot Shravan begetting the curse of the old and blind parents. Therefore, Meerut is supposed to be the grounds from where the entire epic Ramayana grew. Climate Meerut has a monsoon-influenced humid subtropical climate characterized by hot summers and cooler winters. Summers last from early April to late June during and are extremely hot, with temperatures reaching 49 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. The monsoon arrives in late June and continues till the middle of September. Temperatures drop slightly, with plenty of cloud cover but with higher humidity. Temperatures rise again in October and the city then has a mild, dry winter season from late October to the middle of March the lowest temperature ever recorded is minus 0.4 degrees Celsius 31.3 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded on Sunday 6 January 2013. Rainfall is about 845 mm per annum, which is suitable for growing crops. Most of the rainfall is received during the monsoon. Humidity varies from 30 to 100%. The city receives no snow. Topic: Geography. Meerut is the largest city in NCR after Delhi. Meerut lies between the plains of the Ganges and those of the Yamuna. In area, Meerut district covers 2,522 square kilometers (974 square miles), which is larger than Delhi. Delhi covers an area of 1,484 square kilometers (573 square miles). However, Meerut's population is three times less than that of Delhi. Current population of Meerut is 3,443,689. Topic: Administration. Topic: <inaudible> General Administration. Meerut Division, which consists of seven districts and is headed by the Divisional Commissioner of Meerut, who is an IAS officer of high seniority. The commissioner is the head of local government institutions, including municipal corporations, in the division. is in charge of infrastructural development in his division and is also responsible for maintaining law and order in the division. The district magistrate of Meerut reports to the divisional commissioner. The current commissioner is Prabhat Kumar. Meerut District Administration is headed by the District Magistrate of Meerut, who is an IAS officer. The DM is in charge of property records and revenue collection for the central government and oversees the elections held in the city. The DM is also responsible for maintaining law and order in the city, hence, the SSP of Meerut also reports to the DM of Meerut. The district is subdivided into three tehsils, namely Meerut, Mawana and Sardana, each headed by a sub-divisional magistrate. The tehsils are further divided into twelve blocks. The current district magistrate of Meerut is Anil Dingra. <laughs> <laughs> Police administration Meerut district comes under Meerut Police Zone and Meerut Police Range of Uttar Pradesh Police. 
Mirat Zone is headed by an IPS officer in the rank of Additional Director General of Police ADG, whereas Mirat Range is headed by an IPS officer in the rank of Inspector General of Police IG. The current ADG, Mirat Zone is Prashant Kumar, whereas the current IG, Mirat Range is Ram Kumar. District Police of Mirat is headed by the Senior Superintendent of Police SSP, who is an IPS officer and is accountable to the District Magistrate for Law and Order Enforcement. He is assisted by four superintendents of police SP, additional superintendent of police ADDL. SP city, rural area, traffic and crime. The Mirat district is divided into numerous police circles, each headed by a circle officer in the rank of deputy superintendent of police. SP traffic and SP crime are assisted by one circle officer in the rank of deputy superintendent of police each. The current SSP is Manzil Saini. Topic. Infrastructure and civic administration The development of infrastructure in the city is overseen by Meerut Development Authority MDA, which comes under the Housing Department of Uttar Pradesh government. The Divisional Commissioner of Meerut acts as the ex officio chairman of MDA, whereas a vice chairman, a government-appointed IAS officer, looks after the daily matters of the authority. The current vice chairman of Meerut Development Authority is Sita Ram Yadav. The city is administered by Meerut Municipal Corporation, which is responsible for performing civic administrative functions administered by Municipal Commissioner PC's officer, whereas Mayor is ceremonial head of the corporation. The current Municipal Commissioner of Meerut Municipal Corporation is Manoj Kumar Chohan. Topic Central Government Offices The Office of the Chief Commissioner, Customs and Central Excise, Meerut Zone, has jurisdiction over 13 districts of Uttarakhand and 14 districts of Uttar Pradesh. This jurisdiction was carved out of the Lucknow Zone. It comprises the erstwhile Customs and Central Excise Commissionerates of Meerut and Noida. The Meerut Commissionerate was bifurcated into two commissionerates, namely, Meerut I and Ghaziabad and the Noida Commissionerate was bifurcated into Noida and Meerut II. In addition, jurisdiction of Central Excise Division Bareilly was included in the jurisdiction of Meerut II Commissionerate. <laughs> Meerut Cantonment Meerut Cantonment was established by the British East India Company in 1803 after the Battle of Laswari. It is the one of the largest cantonment of India both in land area 3568.06 hectares 35.68 square kilometers and population of 93684 civil plus military people as per 2011 census The revolt of 1857 started from Kali Palton in Meerut cantonment and Indian soldiers stationed here actively participated in the rebellion the cantonment surrounds the old city from three sides, from Palaspuram to Sonic Vihar to Ganga Nagar. It is well connected with the rest of country by roads as well as by rail. The Delhi Nidhi PAA's road State Highway no. 45 passes through Meerut Cantonment. Meerut Cantonment was the divisional headquarters of the 7th Meerut Division of the British Indian Army from 1829 to 1920. Soldiers from the cantonment have actively participated in the First Battle of Ypres, both the First and Second Battles of El Alamein, Battle of France, Burma Campaign, the Indo-Pakistani Wars, Bangladesh Liberation War and Kargil War. It has been the regimental centre of Punjab Regiment Corps of Signals, Jat Regiment, Sikh Regiment and Dagra Regiment in the past. <laughs> development. Meerut is the 63rd fastest growing urban area in the world. It is the 14th fastest developing city in India. A June 2011 report by U.S. financial services firm Morgan Stanley gave Meerut the fifth spot on the Vibrancy Index, ahead of Delhi and Mumbai. Meerut ranked second on both the Financial Penetration Index, which measures things like the presence of ATMs and bank branches, and on the Consumption Index, indicating the city's transformation into an urban town. While the city ranked in the bottom 10 in job creations, the report suggests that overall there are plenty of signs of potential for urbanization, including future employment opportunities. The infrastructure segment of Meerut is currently going through a boom phase with many new projects coming up in and around the city. 
There are many new buildings, shopping complexes, malls, roads, flyovers and apartments coming up. The Upper Ganga Canal Expressway is also under development. On the India City Competitiveness Index, the city ranked 45th in 2010, 37th in 2011 and 39th in 2012. Topic: Economy. Topic: Industry. Meerut is one of the important industrial towns of western Uttar Pradesh with several traditional and modern industries. It is traditionally known for handloom works and scissors industry. Meerut was one of the first cities in northern India where publishing was set up during the 19th century. It was a major center of commercial publishing during the 1860s and 1870s. Meerut is a rich agricultural area with such pockets of land that do not fit in for crop purpose. Being in the proximity of Delhi, it is ideal for industry. It is home to 520 micro, small and medium scale industries. As of August 2006, Meerut has about 23,471 industrial units, including 15,510 small scale units and 7,922 cottage industries. Existing industries in the city include tires, textile, transformer, sugar, distillery, chemical, engineering, paper, publishing, and sports goods manufacture. Prospective industries include IT and ITES. Uttar Pradesh State Industrial Development Corporation UPSIDC has two industrial estates in the city, namely Partapur and Udayagpuram. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Revenue generation. Meerut has shown healthy numbers in terms of revenue generation. In 2005-06, Meerut occupied the fifth slot and contributed 10,306 crore rupees to the direct tax collection. It slipped to number 6 in 2006-07 when the revenue collection at 11,203 crore rupees was 18% lower than the target of 13,627 crore rupees. According to statistics compiled by the Income Tax Department, Meerut contributed a 10,089 crore rupees to the National Treasury in 2007-08. Overall it was ranked 9th outperforming Lucknow, Jaipur, Bhopal, Kochi and Bhubaneswar. Topic: <laughs> Transport. Topic: <laughs> Air The nearest airport is the Indira Gandhi International Airport which is about 100 km away. The Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar Airport is located at Partapur. It was proposed by the state government that the airstrip be converted to an international airport to reduce pressure on Delhi Airport. However, plans to expand the domestic airport were called off after protests against land acquisition started in other parts of the state. Following an accident in May 2012, the city administration barred private flights from using the airstrip. Topic road by road Meerut is well connected to major cities like Delhi, Noida, Faridabad, Ghaziabad, Haridwar, etc. A large number of people commute to Delhi, Noida, Greater Noida, Ghaziabad and Gurgaon every day for work. Three national highways NH58, NH119 and NH235 pass through Meerut. Upper Ganga Canal Expressway which passes through outskirts of the city is under development. There are two main bus terminals, namely Bainsali Bus Terminal and Saurabh Gate Bus Terminal from where Uttar Pradesh State Road Transport Corporation UPSRTC buses ply to cities all over the state and all nearby cities. A JNNURM scheme was put in place. Low floor city buses under JNNURM, normal city buses, auto rickshaws and rickshaws are convenient public transport options to commute within the city. Many new transport infrastructure projects like inner ring road, outer ring road and construction of new flyovers are proposed. Delhi Meerut Expressway under construction. Delhi Meerut Expressway is an under construction 90 km long controlled access expressway connecting Delhi with Meerut via Dasna in Ghaziabad in India. While the present stretch of National Highway 24, NH24 up to Uttar Pradesh Gate will be widened to 14 lanes from the present 8, the road between Up Gate and Dasna will be also be 14 lane. 
According to NHAI the entire construction work has been divided into three stages. The first stage will be from Delhi to Dasna KM0 to KM27.5, 14 lanes, while the second stage will be from Dasna to Hapur KM27.5 to KM49.9 on NH24, 8 lanes. The third stage will include construction of a 37 km long new alignment, a green field alignment, from Dasna to Meerut, 6 lanes. Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone for Expressway on December 31, 2015. Topic: Railways. Meerut lies on the Delhi Saharanpur electrified railway line and has 5 railway stations: Meerut City, Meerut Kant, Partapur, Mohiuddinpur and Pabli Khas. Meerut City railway station is the busiest. The railway line between Delhi and Meerut was constructed in 1864 and the Meerut Kant station, which serves as a secondary railway station was founded in 1865. About 20,000 passengers travel daily to Delhi and back. Around 27 pairs of trains run between Meerut and Delhi, and four between Meerut and Kurja. Two trains are available for Lucknow daily, namely Nashandi Express and Raja Rani Express. A weekly train goes to Chennai and Kuchaveli. Daily trains connect Meerut to Bombay, Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Raikat and cities in other states. Metro project On December 30, 2014, the Uttar Pradesh cabinet had approved the proposed metro rail projects in Meerut, to boost urban mass transport infrastructure in Meerut. The state government has nominated Rights Limited and Lucknow Metro Rail Corporation LMRC for preparing the respective detailed project report DPR and as coordinator, respectively. The development authorities would be nodal agencies for DPR. The Metro project got the green signal from the divisional commissioner. It was decided in the meeting that the project would be along two corridors, Partapur to Palaspuram Phase 2 and Rajban Market to Gokalpur Village. The main stations on the first corridor will be Partapur, Panchwati Enclave, Rithani, Rithani West, Shatabdi Nagar, Devlok, Madaspuram, Meerut Railway Station Road, Lajpat Bazar, Bagapal, Gandhi Bagh, Lake Nagar, Palaspuram Dorli, Ansel City and Palaspuram Phase 2. While the corridor in the Partapur Palaspuram Phase 2 route will cover 20 km and will have a total number of 18 stations in between, the 10 km long route from Rajban Market to Gokulpur village will have 9 stations. Rapid Rail The NCR Transport Plan 2021 proposed a rail-based mass transit system called Regional Rapid Transit System RRTS, between Delhi to Meerut with the Shadara Ghaziabad section scheduled for construction during 2001-11 and the Ghaziabad Meerut section scheduled for 2011-21. In September 2010, the RRTS was reported to be proposed between Anand Vihar and Meerut with the project in its initial stages. The cost was projected to be around 1,000 crore rupees $140 million, with the expected time of the journey being 45 minutes. In November 2010, the train speed was proposed to be between 130-160 kmph with stations at Anand Vihar, Sahibabad, Mohan Nagar, Ghaziabad, Guldhar, Duhe, Moradnagar, Modinagar, Meerut South, Shatabdi Nagar, Meerut Center, Begumpal, Meerut North, Palaspuram. On 14 December 2010, the NCR Planning Board, Meerut Development Authority MDA, and Meerut Nagar Nigam approved this system. In August 2011, it was reported that the project tender had been awarded to Delhi Integrated Multimodal Transit System DIMTS. The proposed system was to have dedicated trains between Anand Vihar and Meerut, which stop nowhere in between, and trains which stop at stations to be constructed after a gap of 4 to 5 km. The reported stations were Anand Vihar, Vishali, Mohan Nagar, Meerut Road, Airtel Cut, Morda, Duhe, Muradnagar, Gang Nahar, Modi Nagar, Mohiuddinpur, Meerut Bypass Cut and Palaspuram with completion expected in 2017. The track between Anand Vihar to Dabur was proposed to be underground with the rest of the track overhead. On the 11th of July 2013, the Union Cabinet of India approved the formation of the National Capital Region Transport Corporation Limited (NCRTCL) with a seed capital of 100 crore rupees (14 million dollars). The corporation is to take up the construction of the 90 km long Delhi Ghaziabad Meerut corridor on a priority basis along with two other corridors with planned completion in 2016. 
It was reported that the detailed project reports DPRs for the three corridors were under the process of finalization. In December 2013, problems were reported in the proposed alignment of the Delhi Mirat corridor. In January 2014, it was reported that the proposed alignment had to be changed due to objections by NHAI and the feasibility report had to be prepared again. The new proposed alignment increased the length from 90 km to 106 km. Demographics According to the 2011 census, the Mirat Urban Agglomeration has a population of around 1.42 million, comparable to Kingdom of Bahrain or Trinidad and Tobago with the municipality contributing roughly 1.31 million of it. The Mirat Urban Agglomeration consists of area falling under Mirat Municipal Corporation, Mirat Cantonment Board and four census towns of Sindawali, Amara Adipur, Aminagar Urf Burbural and Mohiyudanpur. This makes Mirat the 33rd most populous urban agglomeration and the 28th most populous city in India. The sex ratio in Mirat Ua is 887, lower than the state average of 908, while the child sex ratio is 845, lower than the state average of 899. 12.99% of the population is under 6 years of age. The overall literacy rate is 76.28%, higher than the state average of 69.72%. Mirat has a crime rate, total cognizable crimes under IPC per lakh population of 309.1, higher than the state average of 96.4 and the national average of 196.7.AS of 2017. Mirat ranks 328th based on population, 189th based on population density, 648th based on built up area among world's urban areas according to the 2001 census the city ranked second in terms of population in ncr and 25th in india topic culture most traditional indian festivals including holi dussehra diwali eid among others are celebrated with fervor in the city Notably, a fair by the name of Nashandi Fair is held two weeks after Holi every year. The fair, which started in 1672, continues for about 15 days and is attended by lakhs of people. It includes events such as poetry recitations in Hindi, Urdu, Punjabi etc. The Kariboli dialect of the Hindustani language is the dominant language for conversation with official business being conducted in either English, Hindi or Urdu. Mirat is the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Mirat Diocese, which covers the districts of Mirat, Muzaffarnagar, Saharanpur, Dehradun, Haridwar, Maradabad, Rampur, Jyotiba Phool Nagar, Ghaziabad, Bagpat and Dampur Tessel of Bainor district. Nashandi <laughs> Mela <laughs> Fair The Nashandi Mela is an annual fair held at Nashandi ground in Mirat. The fair stretches for about a month and is organized by the Municipal Corporation of Mirat. It generally starts from the second Sunday after Holi. The main exhibits are the artistic and religious rituals followed in rustic Uttar Pradesh. The fair witness more than 50,000 visitors every year. The Indian Railway's Nashandi Express train is named after this fair. The fair has a prominent history dating back several hundreds of years. It started in the year 1672 AD as a one-day cattle trading fair. The fair has been held every year, excluding 1858, the year after 1857 revolt, which started from Mirat. Since then cattle trading has been replaced by a number of other activities. The fair feature shops for Lucknow's chicken work, Maradabad's brassware, Varanasi's carpets, rugs and silk saris, Agra's footwear, Mirat's leather items, etc. Mirat's own products like sports goods, scissors, gajaks, nan katai are also sold. Giant rides, wheels, circus and various other recreational arenas where artists perform stunts, remains a big attraction of the fair. <laughs> <laughs> Film and television Mirat is home to a film industry, which has a following in western Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. 
The films are usually folklore stories or comedies or localized versions of Bollywood hits. Notable people from Meerut in the film and television industry include Bharat Bhushan, Aziz Mian, Mandakini, Achint Kaur, Kalash Kare, Chitrangada Singh, Vishal Bardwaj, Deepti Bhatnagar, and Pravish Rana. Topic education Meerut is an education hub of western Uttar Pradesh with four universities, approximately 50 engineering colleges, 23 management colleges, seven pharmacy colleges, four colleges offering hotel management, one college offering fashion design, over 150 academic colleges and over 50 schools. The city is home to Chaudhry Sharan Singh University, formerly Meerut University, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel University of Agriculture and Technology, Swami Vivekanand Subharti University and Shabat University. The city has one government-run engineering college, Sir Chahotu Ram Institute of Engineering and Technology, a constituent college of Chaudhry Sharan Singh University. There are schools affiliated to recognized boards such as ICSE, CBSE, IB and the State Board. One such school is the St. John Senior Sex School established by Begum Samaru which is over 130 years old, also the first IB school in Uttar Pradesh was Vidya Global School. Meerut Institute of Engineering and Technology is the oldest engineering institute of Meerut district. It was established in year 1997. Chaudhry Sharan Singh University CCSU is public and state university which has many degree colleges affiliated to it. They fall in two divisions, Saharanpur and Meerut with nine districts including Saharanpur, Meerut, Muzaffarnagar, Shamli, Gautam Budh Nagar, Bagpat, Hapur, Bulanshar and Ghaziabad administered by Vice Chancellor and Registrar PC's officer. The Indian Film and Television Institute is located at the western bypass of the city. The city has three medical colleges, Lala Lajpat Rai Memorial Medical College, Subharti Medical College and Mulayam Singh Yadav Medical College and Hospital. The nearest government university which offers degrees in engineering, science, management and humanities is Gautam Buddha University located in Greater Noida. Media Meerut is becoming a media centre, as journalists from all over Uttar Pradesh and other Indian states are working in Meerut. Radio stations shared with Delhi are Radio City 91.1 MHz, Big FM 92.7 MHz, Red FM 93.5 MHz, Radio 194.3 MHz, Hit 95 95 MHz, Radio Mirchi 98.3 MHz, Air FM Rainbow 102.6 MHz, Meow FM 104.8 MHz, Air FM Gold 106.4 MHz. Radio IIMT MHz is the only radio station located in the city. The Hindi language daily newspapers Hindustan newspaper, Rajasthan Patrika, Dainik Jagran, Amar Uhala, Dainik Janwani, The Hindu, Rashtraseva, Dainik Jagran I Next are published from the city. The English Daily Times of India, Meerut Edition and the English language supplement HT City, Meerut with Hindustan Times is also published there. Moneymakers, an English daily is also published there. Asian Express, Hindi newspaper and news magazine Citizen of the World are also published there. <laughs> Sports industries Meerut is one of the prominent center in the country besides Jalandhar for the manufacture of sports goods. There are numerous sports companies in the city especially for cricket namely SS, SF, SG, BDM. Players like MS Dhoni, Virender Sewag, Yuvraj Singh, Kiran Pollard, Virat Kohli, Kumar Sangakara and many others have used bats made in Meerut. Crime The crime rate in the city is surprisingly high. In 2015, it was reported that Meerut had the second highest murder rate in India. In 2009, Meerut topped the list of Uttar Pradesh cities in facing crimes. Most of the stolen vehicles are reported to be sold off in Meerut. Recently, a factory and shop selling fake protein supplements were raided. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Tourist destinations. 
Tourist destinations in and around Meerut include Jain temples, Hastinapur, located on the banks of Old Ravine of Ganges. Hastinapur is considered one of the holiest places on earth by Jains. It is believed to be the birthplace of three Jain Tirthankaras. There are many ancient Jain temples in Hastinapur. Sri Daigambar Jain Mandir, Jambudweep, Kalash Parvat Rachna, Shwedambar Jain Temple are the main and famous temples in Hastinapur. Apart from Jain temples, Pandeshwar Temple, Historical Gurdwara and Hastinapur Sanctuary are worth being seen. St. John's Church – This church was established by chaplain the Reverend Henry Fisher on behalf of the East India Company in 1819 in the cantonment area and was completed in 1822. It is considered one of the oldest churches in North India. The church was dedicated to the people by Bishop Wilson. It has a seating capacity of 10,000 people. During the War of 1857, this church was the scene of heavy fighting between Indians and the British forces. Agarnath Temple, this temple also known as Kalapaltan Mandir locally is located at the site where the soldiers of the War of 1857 planned their operations. The temple also houses a memorial built to honour the martyrs of the Revolt of 1857, Indian Rebellion of 1857. The old temple has been replaced by a modern version. Jama Masjid – The Jama Masjid was built by Hassan Mahdi, Sultan Mahmud Ghaznavi's wazir equals chief minister in 1019 AD older than the Qutb Minar. That makes it the first masjid in North India, Huf it was restored by Humayun, it is one of the oldest mosques in India. Martyrs Memorial – Hindi, Sahida Smaraka Shahid Smarak, the memorial is a 30 metres 98 feet high pillar of marble situated at Bainsali. Functions are organized at the memorial around the national holidays of India. The memorial complex also houses the Government Freedom Struggle Museum which is dedicated to the First War of Indian Independence. Gandhi Bagh, this centrally located garden has a very beautiful and serene environment. Locally known as, Company Garden, it has been present since before independence, when it got renamed to its current name. It runs a musical fountain show every evening. The park also houses a small water storage chamber and motor which is noted to have been removed from the Red Fort in Delhi and erected here. Earlier, the garden used to have multiple entrances, similar to the one shown in the image, which were always kept open, and there was no entry fee. But now, only one entrance is kept open and a ticketing system with nominal charges has been put in place. Shapir's Mausoleum Hindi, Sahapira ki Dargaha Shapir ki Darga This is a Mughal mausoleum erected by the Empress Nur Jahan in 1628 in honor of a local Muslim Hazrat Shapir. It is a red stone structure that was partly built and is incomplete till date. The tomb is adorned by intricate nakashi stone painting. There is no roof on the main tomb. It is said that Shapir was the teacher of Mughal Emperor Jahangir. The tomb is listed by the Archaeological Survey of India as a National Heritage Monument. Shahi Eidgah Hindi, Sahi Idagaha It was built by Nasir Ud Din Mahmud, the youngest son of Iltutmish, and the eighth sultan of the Delhi Sultanate. It is about 600 years old and has a capacity of about 1 lakh people to offer prayers namaz on Eid. There is Nakashi on the walls of Eidgah which reflect the Sulatani Ghulam era. Parikshitgar Fort, the place is associated with and derives its name from King Parikshit of Hastinapur the grandson of Arjuna. The fort was built by Parikshit and restored by Guru Raja Nain Singh in the 18th century. Darga of Baili Mian Hindi, Bail Mayam Ki Dargaha Bail Mian Ki Darga This Darga was built by Qutb Ud Din Ibak in 1194 in the memory of Ghazi Syed Salar Masood known locally as Baili Mian. An ors is organized annually at the Darga during the Nashandi Fair. It is adjacent to the Khandi Devi Mandir, which signifies the Hindu-Muslim unity. Siraj Kund, this is a pond, built by a businessman Lauer Jahawar Lal in 1714. It is filled with water from the Ganga Canal. It is surrounded by several temples, including the Baba Manohar Nath Temple, which is said to have been built during the period of Shah Jahan. It is also believed that there are a total of five ponds in India out of which Siraj Kund of Meerut is the biggest. The pond was naturally filled with the sacred water but with time it evaporated and the pond was left all dried. 
Presently, the municipal corporation has transformed it into a public place of visit with entry ticket at a cost. Other places of interest include Mansa Devi Temple, Baleni, Basilica of Our Lady of Graces, Sardana, and the Kandi Devi Temple, which was built by Holkar Queen Devi Ahalyabai Holkar. Notable people Indian Rebellion of 1857 Don Singh Gur Kadam Singh, was a leader of a group of Gurjars who fought against the British East India Company during the Indian Rebellion of 1857. King Raja Nain Singh, also known as was a notable Gurur king of Meerut district in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh in the 18th century. Politics Somendra Tomar, member of the Legislative Assembly for Meerut South Ravindra Kumar Badana, politician Muraganka Singh, politician. Maluk Nagar, businessman and politician. Lakhi Ram Nagar, businessman and politician. Hemlata Chaudhry, politician. Topic: <laughs> Sports. Bhuvneshwar Kumar, Indian cricketer. Karn Sharma, Indian cricketer. Praveen Kumar, Indian cricketer. Shivam Mavi, Indian cricketer. Dharampal Singh Gouda, oldest Gurur athlete. See also 2006 Meerut Fire, Meerut Division, Meerut District, Meerut Lok Sabha constituency, Meerut Assembly constituency, Meerut Kant Assembly constituency Meerut South Assembly constituency Hapur Assembly constituency Kithor Assembly constituency